from SBCZ. Remember, you can still donate to either give or keep the timepiece, so get those donations in until the end of the run. Good luck to SBCZ. Let's go for the final run! <laughs> All right. So this is a heart in time. Uh, I'll just do a sort of countdown. So uh, three, two, one, go. Oh my god. It's all right. The time doesn't actually start here. <laughs> it starts uh, here. <laughs> but yeah, they suffer wrong. <laughs> That's fine. Um, we can easily just. This is a marathon. All right, we're ready now? Okay, so three, two, one, go. All right, so uh, I want you to give a sort of shout out to uh, Gears for Breakfast because before this run, uh, my girlfriend put a post up on Twitter and she was sort of just like, oh, uh, SBC will be running this and then they retweeted it. So thank you to them for the uh, recognition, I guess. So. Uh, the way of moving in this game is these sort of dive boosts, but it won't be uh, purely that, especially after this level, because we're going to be picking up two yarns really quickly, and we need them both for the uh, sprint yarn. It doesn't matter that I think one of them says it was like specifically for the brewer hat. Uh, that just sort of unlocks it to be crafted. So we're gonna hit him and then craft the hat just as he uh, sort of dies and then then we don't sort of lose any time crafting hats. And we do that with uh, we do that with the next hat that we're gonna be picking up as well. But yeah. The story I guess is basically you're just flying through space and then this mafia man's like, well, all the boats in Mafia Town have to pay tax, even the uh, even the ones that are in space. So uh, yeah. He sort of breaks through your breaks through your window and all your timepieces fall out, which is a shame. But I mean, you know, would have been a would have had to come up with a different plot else. <laughs> so I'll be running on the current patch. It's got a few bonuses, such as um, as opposed to version 1.0, you don't have to uh, you don't have these really long telescope sort of sections. You can just hold A and then uh, A or X or whatever, and then it will skip by. Oop, that wasn't very good. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm just trying to... Okay. So here we're going to be doing a dupe. So if we get hit and just hit one of these tokens at the same time, tickets even, we'll do that. We'll sort of skip one. <laughs> it's pretty, uh... I don't know. It, it's got a little bit of a frame window. Uh, it's especially noticeable in the Golden Vault if, if anyone sort of goes for that skip. Because, like... The setup you need to do to get the dupe on that is off fall damage, and yeah, it can be quite uh, quite difficult to set up. But I won't be going for it because it's hard. <laughs> Not marathon safe whatsoever. Anyway, I said about set, uh, crafting another hat, like sort of mid, um, yeah, mid cutscene. So that's what we're gonna do here. Just as I said, saves time. And uh, that's not too bad. So we want him to drop as many pawns as he can. Because the idea is there's a level coming up called Heating Up Mafia Town, which we need 100 pawns for. Um, it doesn't matter too much if he doesn't <laughs> give the best, because he usually doesn't. But I mean, it's it's just a benefit. Uh, save some pawn now, thing if, you know. Oh, I missed that one. That's, that's nice. <laughs> but I mean, I don't think it matters too much how far ahead I am of him or anything here. He'll sort of just run to the end anyway. The plot for this stage is he thinks that we're an alien because we fell in the mud and then he would just run away and then bargain us away with the uh, timepiece. So it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Why not? The other Mafia people on the stage also run away from you, but he's, he's sort of the main mission, so to speak. All right. So we're going to be doing, it's pretty much a mandatory mission. Um, there is a skip technically, but I don't know how to do like the skip pass it. So Barrel Battle uh, definitely is a sort of mandatory level that you need to do, uh, especially for any percent. Quite short as well, so i um, not sure why you would skip it if you could. So here, okay, so here we're just sort of um, making our way to the level. We want to get a dash here. Ah, oh, I sort of missed it, but it's fine, it didn't lose too much time. 
So we're going to use the Brewer Hat here to sort of knock these people down a bit faster so we can hit them. Okay, we don't want to use the second Brewer Hat there just because... Alright, so that was pretty fast. Uh, sorry, I had to sort of focus on... If you if you stand a bit too close to them, they can they can hit you and it disrupts your uh, your flow of combat. But here, um, if I can get the right spot, then we can really just stand in one spot. And the mafia man sort of roots us on. He's like, yeah, you know, don't think about avoiding them. Just stand there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This was um, when I first got this game. It was on the PlayStation 4 version, and it was my girlfriend who actually noticed this. And I was like, oh my god. Doesn't even speedrun or anything, just sort of casually stood there. Funny how things are found, but uh, obviously the community already found it. So we're watching, uh, we're waiting until these like watch out things disappear, and then we can like kind of set ourselves up with this uh, brewer yarn. And we're gonna do the same, like hitting them with it just to knock them down. And then here we can finish the stage up really quick. <laughs> oh yeah, if you. Uh, if you hit them like once, like, because you can only just sort of three hits in a row before they go into this sort of invincible phase. And then they sort of like, they're like, oh, I've got you all figured out. And then if you like come and attack them, they're like, oh my god, you could jump? <laughs> so funny. But I think all the mafia people say that as well. Alright, so this is Intruder Alert. That's just Mustache Girl going onto our ship. Um, Basically, if you were playing casually, she'd sort of explain the plan that we're going to invade the uh, Mafia base. So, <laughs> nothing too big, I guess. But she gets she gets stopped pretty short-handed by some cans, as we're going to see in a minute. <laughs> I mean, for someone who wants to rule Mafia Town, she's not doing very good. Ah, that was unfortunate. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. No cheating, I swear. <laughs> you don't miss too much. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a sort of skip here where we can jump on the back of this chair. And Ah, oh, we got canned. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> so we're going to jump on this guy and sort of move across. And then after we get to this last pawn, we can sort of throw this. And it sort of just lines up really well <laughs> so but this is going to be our first like proper boss fight the uh, barrel boss wasn't really a boss fight um, and I'm going to grab this yarn here just because I couldn't do a trick earlier called a double sprint jump which uh, which people use on the she came from out of space level to grab a quick yarn all right so oh no that's not good I'm trying to sort of skip a cutscene by uh, doing this, but it's probably not even <laughs> fast enough. Oh my god! It's right. right, so we want to do that. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I uh, I couldn't like change Hat Kid's sort of position. But that's, I mean, that happens now and then. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully we'll get a nice, uh, nice mafia boss to make up for it. Oh no! <laughs> so he can sort of jump off the stage as many times as he wants. Um, for me, it's pretty much after every single attack ever. But I'm hoping that he doesn't do that for the rest of the hits. <laughs> Oops. So he can go straight into an attack here, which he did. That's pretty good. Um, and I think he's going to do another one. That's good. Okay. now we kind of, well not for this hit, but for the next hit we kind of want him to be on the left hand side of the screen because we're going to set up a glitch to beat this boss a bit faster. Uh, so just standing here in general is going to uh, work out best for us anyway. And the glitch is pretty pretty easy to understand, but yeah we'll stand here to lure him over and then we want to switch to the brewer hat and if you just hold right and the, uh, the brewer hat button Mafia Man will just sort of jump off stage and <laughs> yeah, he has a kill plane. <laughs> Why not? Alright, there we go. Alright, 
So we want to exit to hub here. Oops, that sucks. The idea was it would sort of be faster than just watching the cutscene because it plays a little bit of it, but it's whatever. <laughs> Okay, so here we want to do the golden vault. So the idea of this level is we want to pick up four of these golden tickets. Um, it's sort of there's sort of a nice little route for it, but we're not going to do that this stage. We're going to be going straight for a warp zone sort of thing. Not not ripping off Super Meat Boy. <laughs> I forgot time rifts. That's it. All right. Oops, that's unfortunate. I want you to get on top of this. Oh, we can still sort of... There we go. <laughs> uh, um, okay. At first I thought you had to do like a um, sprint double jump to get up there, but it turns out just it's completely not needed. Oops. Alright. So here when we finish uh, any of these we get hats and we got the worst hat. <laughs> I don't think anyone likes the aviator hat but... No we were just off the chicken hat unfortunately. <laughs> but I decided not to equip it just because... And for some like menuing reasons we do the rift first because it will put us back to the golden vault like by default so we don't have to do any like menuing. Um, that's the idea behind it anyway. Alright, so I'm not going to do the ticket dip here because it is really tricky and saves about 10, 20 seconds, something like that. Very hard to set up and it's just, oh. you have to land like right here, like sort of on that little black fence, right at the end. Um, you get damaged as I said, but yeah. Oh, there we go. We got that dip, which is the good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't have... <laughs> we don't have 100 pawns. That's fine. I'm going to grab these three on this side and then... Oops. So now we have enough pawns to heat up Mafia Town, which is quite a long stage, long technical stage, lots going on. We're going to be using the manipulation with the uh, anti softlock feature in the game. Not yet, but we're going to be doing some death warps as well. I mean, it's, it's a lot more technical <laughs> than sort of the other levels, except for Golden Vault's uh, strat that you can do. Oh, okay. I did want to get damaged there, but I wanted it to land me here. So if I follow this path like I am, we should be able to set up the death warp here, which is just really simple. Hopefully I don't fall into lava, I've done that before. Okay, now we fall into lava. And if we didn't grab up this yarn before, we would have there. Um, that's what people who do the extra yarn in She Came From Outer Space do. So just grab it up and do some. Alright, so here, this is where we're going to start doing the manipulation. Oh, I think I was going to make that normal. Okay, so if we like land under here and don't move, uh, the game will think we're stuck and then it will send us back to the last place that it consider as safe. So we, to get there we had to land on very specific items uh, and here we just jumped straight down onto it so it did that. Yeah, very smooth, very smooth, that's really good. So 
Ari said there was some sort of launch that I could have done here. Uh, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Very interesting to check out, but... Oi! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just exit the menu. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, we can't do anything about that unless we went to Russian, but... Uh, can we restart that? Restart? Well, I can do a restart. Restart? Please. Restart? Oh, do you mean like... Yeah, restart the laptop. Oh, do you mean like... Yeah, restart the laptop. They're doing another laptop, just the game. Click, click, click. Yeah, just the game. Well, um, this has never happened before. <laughs> so, um, we're trying to tend to these technical issues, and once we uh, fix those, we'll be right back. In the meantime, we have an anonymous $10 donation with no comment, whose money will go to the Give the Timepiece Incentive, putting that back in the lead, 25 to 16. There's always more time to donate, and it just keeps getting more than that when, when tech issues are awry. So get those donations in while you can, so we can, so your decision can decide the ending of the game.
as we are trying to get our tech issues solved and keep complaining, why does the rust last run of each day have to be like this? We'd like to remind you, a minimum donation of $5 puts you in the draw for one of two Battle Chef Brigade codes. So, uh... If you wish to be in the draw and have a chance of winning one of them, go ahead and donate now. And why not? Donate to see either give or keep the timepiece win in the eventual bid war for tonight. All right, looks like things have been fixed. We hope for the best. Good luck again, SBCZ, and hopefully no more tech issues. Let's go. All right, so starting where we were, uh, I'll just do a little countdown as well. So uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, so we just did heating up Mafia Town. It's uh, probably one of the more technical levels of uh, the Mafia Town sort of levels. And now we'll be doing uh, we'll be doing one of these time rifts, which we go through uh, Barrel Battle to get to. So we can sort of access any of the levels and sort of traverse the hub world like that, uh, kind of like Mario Sunshine does. Like you can sort of access like Gelato Beach uh, Eight or whatever through the first level. So. But yeah, this one's uh, this one's pretty short, simple, just like the first one. It's like an introduction, basically, uh, to to uh, all these rifts. I'd say it doesn't really have any cycles, but I mean, you can get a faster one if you can do some of the tricks, like the double sprint jump and stuff like that. I cannot, so <laughs> I'll be going for a very easy stress. But it's fine. Right, hopefully... Yeah, this looks like I'll make this cycle easy. Yeah, there we go. That's like... That's sort of like a normal average time. Um, just, just doing it just doing it casually, without any tricks, so... I'm quite happy with that. And we didn't get any uh, runner hats, so that's fine. But. Okay, so now we're sort of done with Mafia Town for now. We will come back to it later, but now we're going to talk to this cooking cat who's going to give us a relic, because we did pick up a relic in Heating Up Mafia Town. And it was this burger thing, and basically what it does... Basically what it does is it gives us access to a level later on. So we're going to take advantage of that. Alright, so what we're doing is, uh, even though you need less timepieces to go to the Battle of the Birds levels, it's actually more like understanding, so to speak, to access the contractual obligations, chapter three, because it's an item that you need to actually sort of complete uh, Battle of the Birds, which, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it, it makes sense that they'd want you to sort of backtrack like that and stuff, but at the same time. <laughs> so there's not much going on here if we want, uh, if we have any donations or whatever to read out. A donation reader ran away. It's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm back. At this point, um, I would like to thank ESA for supporting this marathon. Besides providing us with their channel for streaming, they're sharing gear, technical assistance, and sponsors. But what are we raising money towards? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, me. We're raising money to support Young Minds, a charity leading the fight for a future where all Young Minds are supported and empowered, whatever the challenges. Your donations help them to make sure young people get the best possible mental health support and have the resilience to overcome life's difficulties. Thank you for all your donation. Alright, so what we did there that you saw with the big, like, ghostly figure was we um, ended up selling our soul. Because why not? <laughs> As you do. <laughs> And one of the things was we, uh, he's like, oh, can you kill these fire spirits? And you're like, oh, that's a little mean. And then you speak to the fire spirits and they're like, oh, can you kill us, please? <laughs> I mean, but like, it, it's sort of serious as a tone as it sounds. Like, Hat, Hat in Time does a, like, very, 
very like jovial. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. Hopefully the uh I was hoping it wouldn't like respawn or whatever. Alright, so that was unfortunate with the paintings, like getting the mid oh my god, really? Getting the mid-air jump one can be quite a pain. <laughs> Not getting any. <laughs> oh my god. But that was it. So the idea was it was to show you that uh, these fire spirits sort of block off parts of the forest. And uh, we will be doing that for one more lot of them uh, forest creature things. So he's now given us these contracts and we're going to pick this one. Mainly because we can't access um, the timepiece through like just hub world's movement. In fact, I think there was only like one level that you can. So we're going to be taking sort of the well, except for the one it gives you after the stage, which is subcom well. Uh, we're going to be taking the two contracts which we can't access through the uh, through the overworld. So that's what we're going to do. But um, starting from that, we're going to go straight to the subcom well just because it's the next level and we get the uh, hook shot from it. If you can tell by the little thumbnail. <laughs> So, um, as I said about them fire spirits, we're going to be getting rid of them in this stage. Uh, there's an unfortunate thing for like console uh, users though for this game, but if console like PS4 or whatever wants to do this run, there's actually three of these paintings they need to throw in, and one of them is up that uh, part there which needs to be hookshotted to, so that's quite unfortunate. <laughs> Just lose time for, for being on a, uh, I think it's a previous patch or something, like a really old version, but yeah. Right, so. Right, so here we're going to try and get a launch by sort of just angling ourselves like this, and we got it. Pretty good, that can, uh, that can troll you a little bit, so it's good that we got it. So here we get the, uh, here we're gonna get the hook shot, and we're gonna put it to immediate use. You can just see how like vertical this level really is, but um, with the right sort of movement, it works out really well. So, uh, but it's <laughs> obviously easy to mess up because of that. Just you know, verticality has never been sort of platform sprint. <laughs> so. Here we're going to do a sort of double swing. There we go, and if we can do this right. There we go, okay. And that's the subcom, wow. Pretty good, we got quite, uh, quite good movement. <laughs> Gonna be moving to uh, we're gonna be moving to keyboard here. The the sort of like main reason that we're going to keyboard here is because we want to keep this menu open. So after we do that, we can just exit the stage, and it will just count that we got the timepiece, which is pretty uh, pretty convenient. Um, I'm not sure if you can like exit too fast. I've not seen it, but. Um, hopefully that didn't happen because it's a long stage. But usually when this timer thing comes up, I'm, I'm setting my setting myself that that I've done the stage. So, all right. So mail delivery service is another instance where we're going to be using the uh, keyboard and mouse just because it's easier to aim. Although I'm still not very good at keyboard and mouse in this game, just because it's got this like weird top-down view thing that I'm not very used to. Uh, oops. <laughs> Moving here. So, oh, I missed that one. I'll come back. So, there's a. This is funny. It, like people thought it was a glitch initially, but there, um, one of the guys that I shot at a little bit away, people thought it was a glitch that sometimes you would get two um, mail, uh, mail packages delivered there. But what actually happens when you deliver the mail packages is that the object travels through the enemy even after hitting it. So. They were actually hitting another. Um, they were actually hitting another person behind it. Also, that's pretty cool. And just Oops! Wait. Oh my God, Spectre! Please, not Spectre. Snatcher. Right. 
Right, so we do have a little bit of time to sort of jump into it if we're not aligned properly. Before, yep. And that's sort of another reason why we do keyboard, just so we can exit like that uh, as it comes up. I don't think we can do it with keyboard, like I don't think it lets us reselect all the stuff. So during that stage we picked up the Toilet of Doom boss, uh, because <laughs> the Great Parade or whatever it was called, I forgot the name, it just had a mind blank right there. But the uh, parade level that we used to do was like a five minute auto scroller and people decided well two bosses are probably faster and they were right especially whoever found this oh my god if you've not seen this glitch you're in for a treat <laughs> Right, so we try and set it up here, just as he moves, we press the pause button and then we change our graphic settings. Oh, I missed click. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's fine, we still have a chance of getting it. Do we have time for a quick donation? Hold on one second. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Now we have time. <laughs> All right, I'll jump in with a three dollar donation from Argix saying, "The only way to properly end a Hat in Time run, give Mustache Girl a timepiece. That means the give is in the lead with twenty eight dollars, and Keep is right, not that far behind with sixteen. But I believe my fellow Keepers are gonna come back strong." and actually come out strong in the end. We've seen what she can do. Oh wait, spoilers. <laughs> so here we're re-entering Toilet of Doom and it's because this is sort of closer to the stage that we need to get to next, which is Queen Vanessa's Manor. It just saves us sort of sliding down that hill. And um, yeah, here there's not too much going on. There is like a stage behind Queen Vanessa's Manor, but the devs put in a sort of skip uh, not like you have to work particularly hard to to sort of get it. It's just um, <laughs> they just sort of put it in, which is quite funny. When I saw it first off, I was like, "Oh my god, really?" Like this was after like sort of uh, seeing seeing how the stage worked and stuff, and it's like, yeah, just not needed at all. So that was unfortunate. I want you to get what's called a sprint double jump there, just to make it that further distance, but they are quite hard to do. Um, <laughs> not hard to do, but like they just require some um, quite precise timing, and I'm not very good at timing, so. <laughs> oh, the glitch that happened earlier, the toilet doom. So what happened was, by pausing just as it went, underground and it was turning like it was sort of moving position um, by changing the graphic setting it would like keep falling and then it eventually just fell into a death pit <laughs> so it was, it's quite funny how how it works so this is queen vanessa's manor we just sprint, uh, go down here and that's the stage oh, oh my god this is unfortunate hey there we go <laughs> wasted a lot of time on the door but what can you do so that's that's the uh, not well I guess skip that they put it into the game just for like I thought it was kids but they just put it in for everyone because why not <laughs> well they were obviously thinking of the speedrunners as well <laughs> so here we're gonna be selecting Queen Vanessa's Manor again also close to a level that we'll be doing and it's one of the uh, time rifts. This time rift that's coming up is um, it's quite oops I went wrong. It's um, quite interesting it's got some time-based strats to it. So hopefully I can get this. There's a bunch of like fallen platforms and like platforms in this stage so I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping it doesn't go too bad. So I did sort of practice this, so if I can get it, it'd be nice. <laughs> right, so we can sort of get a dive here. Oh, so close. Oh my god, you're dragging the cables. <laughs> I 
very organized here. <laughs> What the heck? Okay, yeah. yeah, sorry. Oh my god, all Bye these dogs. all these menus are coming up, right. <laughs> oh my god. Right, anyway. <laughs> so I unfortunately didn't get well, this is what it should have looked like, I guess, if I got it, but I would have been able to make a cycle similar to that, but um it's just it's just unfortunate how my uh, launch was positioned, I guess. Alright. There we go. It's um yeah, I mean Still not a bad time considering the cycle, but the cycle was quite hard, so <laughs> I just wanted to go for it just just because. The run is blessed, you have the Alice band. Yeah, everyone seems to like the Alice band. But it's not it's not a hat. It's <laughs> blessed, blessed <run. laughs> so here we can just pick either contractual um or whatever, really. Just a sort of any stage that's like in the middle. And uh here we're gonna go to the other um, time rift. Oh, I'm very bad with my boosts, but it's alright. I need to get good at them if I want to finish this run, so <laughs> cheating the race. Right. Oh, okay, so. Oh. So, and I learned about climbing up uh, platforms like that, which are quite thin and you don't want to go too far forward. Was that, um. If you're trying to like land on it, you want to make sure that once you go towards it, you don't hold forwards or anything. You sort of just like go a full direction. All right. So here, yeah, we sort of not got lucky, but we timed that well by not getting caught by that platform that goes over us, which is nice. So the rest is pretty su uh, smooth sailing. Oh no, what's that? <laughs> I know I know the PS4 version doesn't have the cookies. Just a little like falling platforms with the feet pedal thing. I didn't feel too confident. <laughs> Not bad. Oi, the run is blessed. Best hat. <laughs> <laughs> we get a bird passport later on, we gotta blend in. <laughs> Alright, so now we're coming up to the last uh, contractual obligations stage, I guess, Socon Valley, whatever. Not Valley, Socon Village. <laughs> so here I like to wait for these attacks to go over first, just because um, I don't like the idea of being in the wrong spot. Okay, so yeah, if you play this game in a lower uh, resolution, then his hitbox is a lot bigger. Um, but you still can't hit him on high resolution. Yeah, you're kind of rude, aren't you? So this uh, potion thing will fall eventually. Right, so here we just want to wait for all these little things to fall. Because eventually it will drop the one that turns in blue. And the idea behind this is that um, Snatcher already doesn't have any health, so once we throw the thing at him, it changes him to his second form, and then we can like finish him off. And here we learn how contracts work. If you don't like the contract you're given,
So, like, here we're signing, and we're like, ah, oh, actually, you know, all this, like, don't come back stuff. It's like, <laughs> be nice. All of it. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> be my BFF. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just like, that's not how contracts work. And then he gives us our soul back and the dialogue comes up and it says, You got your soul back, you only feel the usual amount of empty. <laughs> Which comes up to earlier where he took it away and it's like, you feel exceedingly empty. <laughs> so here when we finish, they take our hats off us, so we, uh, it sort of reverts us to the default hat which we don't use. Um, so we just quickly uh, changed our sprint hat, which I learned if you got another sprint hat that you didn't want um, in any of the rifts after this point, it would have just automatically equipped them for some reason. I'm not sure why. But. So here we unlock a level within Mafia Town, which is pretty cool. It's called the Mafia of Cooks, and we'll be going to that towards the end of the run. But now we're going to Deadbird Studios, or yeah. Just them levels in general. It's basically a TV production sort of thing run by the birds and we get to be a part of that. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> we just sort of gate crash. Oh, the sunglasses. Okay. It's been mentioned, I guess. So. There we go. And then, boom. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. No, yeah, normally trespassing is the first fee you get, but... Right, so... I want to wait there, because he's like an insta-catch if he sees you. Um, it's really annoying. Unless he sees you, like, right as you're sort of going away. This guy's not. Oh, I wanted to do a spindle with him there, but it's alright. This guy's just blind. <laughs> And then here if we sort of boost into these sandbag things we can get a lot of distance like that. And then we just dive down here and we sort of skip having to do a lot of that stuff. Alright, so here we jump and double jump like this. That's how I get up anyway, I just can't do the sort of other strats that people do. <laughs> but it works, so. And that is Deadbird Studio. Went pretty smooth actually. Anything special? Oh, I can't think of anything. <laughs> no, I'm not trying the Scottish flag. We did sort of draw a mustache. A can of iron brick. Oh, yeah. Conductor, if unfortunately you don't get to hear the dialogue when you do these, but Conductor's just, he's just such a sweetheart. <laughs> he sounds so familiar. Are you the Conductor? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we unlock the two different studio uh, levels, which is Merger on the Owl Express and then Picture Perfect. The idea is what you did was. You, you destroyed all their stuff in Intruded, so they were like, oh, instead of giving you this massive, uh, you know, bill. You oh, that sucks. Pet, what do you think the name uh, I didn't switch the keyboard uh, fast enough, and I dropped my phone, which is nice. <laughs> um, if you switch the keyboard and sort of mash S there, and just keep clicking, you'll, you'll just get through there. Um, with sort of minimal dialogue, but yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> so here they give you a special hat for the mission. It's a detector's hat. It's sort of just an override of your normal hat, but don't tell anyone. And uh, we just switch back to the runner hat because you don't need it to complete the stage. <laughs> so why not? But this stage is quite funny if you ever do it casually because all the like crows ask you the uh, if you've ever had those like spam emails like asking you for all those questions like what's your mother's maiden name stuff like that. They're like oh what would your Pet's pet name be and stuff like that. It's like, and then they start talking about you, which I learned later in the stage. 
because there's a question that you can get asked which is like where's the most embarrassing place on your body and if you don't pick an answer it defaults to butt <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to get. I was trying to get a sprint double jump, which is unfortunate. There we go, I got that. You can just see the difference between the sprint double jump and. Well, that was a sprint jump. For it so and there you see the clock jump forward a little bit just a little bit um we basically like we basically sequence broke when we jumped up the bookcase earlier so <laughs> it's whatever but that's the stage that's pretty much it we just needed any key and then we just needed to hit that particular uh switch all right it's unfortunate that i uh <laughs> that i messed up jumping up there but it's fine so we, our main objective in that was sort of like, oh, who's the killer? Who killed this little owl? And, uh, you know, we didn't find anyone. So we're just going to say it was the conductor. It, everyone will admit to it, but I think Hat Kid's answer is the best. And I won't spoil it for anyone <laughs> who wants to watch that. But it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, he, they were like, oh yeah, it was just a rubber knife. <laughs> so, you know, we solved the mystery and did that. But then we get a special place in the credits, which is fun. So it's like, uh, some girl is Detective Yuko. <laughs> yeah, Conductor doesn't do too well in the run, unfortunately. But DJ Grooves, oh, I mean... DJ Groove's levels just skyrocket with points, my god. Right, so you just run past these guys and she'll speak to them, and then... This jump coming up is like really... ...particular. Yeah, for that reason. Um... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just so precise, I don't get it. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we're also on the moon, so all our gravity is like, um, reduced, so all our dives and stuff are just... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't be so... <laughs> Someone's not turned their thing on. Me, probably. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I cannot jump. I'm trying not to do sprint jumps everywhere, but... <laughs> oh, that's alright. So now our last one that we need before we hit Max Diva is this just little, uh, we're going to save this little dog. Bye dog. We saved it. He's like, it definitely didn't break into a million pieces. <laughs> I think if we stand just here we'll get the time piece. I don't think we have to jump. Oh, never mind. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't have noticed anyway. But we it have seems sort of... Regardless of what you do there, you just get loads of points. Do we oh, have time donations. for a quick donation? Yeah, go for it, man. Fantastic. We have, let me find it, a $1 donation from Spasano saying, Donations really do be like that sometimes. Money going for the Keep the Time piece, which is now, I believe, 28 to 17. It's still a close game, and it's anybody's, anybody's to win. Let's see those donations come in. Did you know? Did you unfuck him? Oops, why is she crawling? <laughs> I think I had it pressed down on the controller accident. Right, so that's what it's meant to look like if you just sort of spam through. But we're just going to this um, time rift that spawned in the level. It's not it's not too bad actually. There's a sort of skip we can do, which is pretty cool. Oh wait, no, it's not that one. <laughs> Whoops. I was thinking of another level. <laughs> There's like a sprint double jump you can do over there, but I uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> so casually though, this level is pretty pretty good. But um, yeah, if you're inconsistent with strats, that like, you know you can get some of the time, it can be it can be annoying. <laughs> All right, so here we've got quite a good pattern, which is nice.
Right here I'm gonna land over here just so we get the checkpoint. You never know. <laughs> I'm not getting any boosts, oh my god. Okay. I'm kinda glad to see how the game runs on um the better graphics because if you put the stage on low graphics, oh my god, it flickers so much. I mean I don't I don't expect any less from like super low graphics settings, but oh my god. <laughs> I need to remember steam things, which I thought were off. <laughs> anyway, that was quite a fast, uh, quite a fast time rift regardless. Like we got the, uh, we got quite a good sequence on the buttons and stuff, and we hit them as soon as they came up. So um, now we're going to be going to another level, another tight, another time rift level that's just outside of the. The idea with this one was because after we do this, it will send us back to the Battle of the Birds um, start. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do we have time for a donation? That sounds like a good time. <laughs> well then, we have an $11.01 donation from Indy saying, I just want to say that I'm proud to be part of UKSG and be able to help this event wherever I can. Massive shoutouts to Paulister and everyone else. Keep up the good work until I join you again in person. Also, keep the timepiece. We need it until you ruin my beautiful schedule again, Bible Thump. <laughs> and allow me to check the incentive to see who's in the lead. By one cent, keep the timepieces in the lead <laughs> right now. And we got dinosaur hat. Can't There's get any closer than this, people. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. And everyone else who donated, obviously. <laughs> Alright, so here we're going to be doing uh, Train Rush, which is the last stage we're going to be doing our uh, Battle of the Birds. Um, with Train Rush, we had to unlock it with 30, with 30 of the pawns that we get. But the pawn route used to be a lot more strict in the past because when you had to do the big parade, um, you needed another 150 I think it was. So, yeah, you can imagine how just strenuous that was, but it crap, it's just nothing now. Oops. Well, I was a bit further across the level. I didn't realize that owl was hit. Okay, things you learn, eh? <laughs> I wish I could be as chill as these guys though, like just play music while the whole train's like just disappearing around them. Oh, uh, so um, I wanted to say there's like an achievement you can get on this stage by not hitting any of the timepieces, and when you do that, the music also speeds up. So I'm hoping to do that just, just, just for that. Like it sounds funny because the music gets faster and faster. I think the achievement also means you can't fall down, which I've already done, but <laughs> hey, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so here we want to avoid these little enemy things. Um, here we can avoid it by just going really left. Yep. And now we should be fine, because then the cannon shot the one that was going to cause us some issues. Oops, that's it. Okay. What do you mean we're doomed? So here we can do something similar to uh, to the other. Oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> I was going to say we could get something similar to heating up Mafia Town, where uh, we just sort of clip through the level. But sorry. What the heck, conductor? You're not meant to overtake. Anyway, that's us done with Battle of the Birds. Um, now we're going to unlock the Alpine Skylines because we will need it for the last um, timepiece before finale. Here I said about a level that we unlocked, so we're just going to go to it now. We access it through um, Down with the Mafia, simply because it's the closest. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to check how many uh, pawns we have, but we only need 50, so um, <laughs> hopefully we're good on that. 
We're not usually short, so I can't imagine it being an issue, but I mean, it's worth checking anyway. So this is a different kind of rift. This is a purple rift, and uh, these are sort of just like slowed down, mellow, like variations of the acts that you uh, go into. And uh, every every act has one, except finale, of course. Oh, oh my God, Angel! Do we have time for a quick donation? <laughs> <laughs> well, <It's not> Argy. <laughs> yeah, this is a great time. <laughs> we have a one dollar ninety-eight cent donation from oh. Spasano saying, I "Hat in time, but it has Steam Fortress Two dialogues." Think about it. That amount of money goes to keep the timepiece, which is now at twenty-nine ninety-nine over twenty-eight to give it. <laughs> yes, that's a good donation. <laughs> Okay, so it's kind of considerate for the Mafia people to like all stop if you get hit by one of them. I mean, <laughs> normally you don't mean that much, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you get to feel important in these stages. Um, so I hope to not get hit by these cans while I'm going across the gaps because they do sort of stun you and you can't like recover from them until you land. So, but that's fine, we didn't uh, get memed or anything. They removed a thing in current patch where you could blow this up with the uh, brewer hat, which is kind of annoying. So you only needed like two brewer hats to, leave to do. Um, it's fine. I mean, it was just a lot faster. <laughs> so, that's one of the purple riffs. A lot of the other ones have a bit more like platforming and stuff like that, but it is what it is. Alright, so we're coming up to cheating the race. Probably the level I, uh, I've been like sort of hesitant about the most, uh, just because it's, um, it's quite tricky, I guess. Oops. Sometimes the menu, sometimes the menuing doesn't like automatically move when you press it, but yeah. Um, here I want to, oops, here I want to make a hat during this. Yep. Uh, I'm really grateful <laughs> that I made the right hat. Because <laughs> if I didn't, then the wrong would have happened. <laughs> no. Oh no, this isn't going well. Ah, oh, that's it. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> you've got that's a sort of timed mission. Um, very common to mess it up, but in game time wise, I think it would have been faster to do what I did. But I don't, I don't know about the RTA. But <laughs> oh yeah, so the key item for this level is to have the uh, slow down time hat. But you know, we should be speedrunners. I don't know. This run has to end. Get I'm ready. A <laughs> oh no, she keeps doing stupid things. Yes. There we go. <laughs> route that I did is normally done by people who are like really good at the game but like um, it's faster so I was like yeah I'll do that. It also seemed a bit more consistent than whatever the hell I was doing. You have to do some like leap of faith to go the other way and I didn't really like that. <laughs> but this is the last uh, stage so to speak, before the final level so this is pretty good. It's pretty short as well which is nice. Uh, you've got these little elver spirit things that you didn't really see because we didn't go to the Alpine Skylines, so that's pretty good. They're not worth speaking about. <laughs> oh no, please. <laughs> they don't hit you, but they'll like knock you, and when they do, they hit you miles back. It's so annoying. Oh no, no! <laughs> Why did you do that, kid? No. 
I was going to do like a dash grunt before, but... Oh, we got a remix, that's unfortunate. Almost the whole run without one. It only it only comes up with a intruder alert thing. We so we're gonna get two in a row thanks to Little Mustache Girl here. Who you get to play as for uh You get to play as Mustache Girl for the first time and only time in the run. But she can't really do what hat kids can do. She can't like climb walls. Do we have time for a quick donation? Yeah, well, I'm just going to go into finale, so uh, yeah, it's perfect time. Okay, we have $15 from Asterix, the man who is being pointed at angrily by Argic, saying, I like keeping stuff, so let's keep <laughs> this timepiece. <laughs> and that puts keep the timepiece at... Forty-four ninety-nine over twenty-eight for give. What's what's up, givers? Are, are you are you giving up just yet? Don't give up. It's there's still a few more minutes to this run, so keep those donations coming. Now we can close that incentive. <laughs> oh yeah, we're missing we're missing a key item, guys. We can't do this stage. The ice hat. <laughs> But it's fine because um, in current patch, you, do, you can't do finale skip, but you can just do the stage normally, so it saves you a lot of heartache. No, you didn't need the ice hat to do finale, but you couldn't do it normally on version 1.0 with the ice hat because you needed the dweller hat to do it normally. So, it was just one of those, unfortunately. There it sort of locks your uh, inputs for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Jump in and dive here, we can just make this gap. Oops. <laughs> Safely does it. <laughs> okay, so finale skip. Um, we've passed it now, but there was a sort of room that we went into, similar to this, similar looking, and we would jump off to the side and you could basically jump off a wall and then get to the top of it and you had to sort of precisely uh, navigate yourself through this like through the top of the level basically to slide to the end and it was it's kind of tricky to pull off but for version 1.0 it was like kind of mandatory that you did it um, so a lot of beginners would lose time just because it's like quite difficult to pull off That's <laughs> for the fire in the box. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> right, so here uh, it kind of warps us if we land incorrectly, but um, if we get a bit closer. Here we can like skip having to destroy this to lower this fence by just doing a sort of precise jump there, which is nice. We got it pretty easily. There's an enemy here that hopefully we can skip it never to. <gasps> <laughs> it's very prevalent with one of the Alpine Sky uh, Alpine Skylines levels, where uh, these enemies would like steal your hats and your uh, money and stuff. When they stole your money, it wasn't too bad because they would only steal like one pawn. But when when it was your hats, it was like, oh my god, can you not? <laughs> and they they sort of run up to you invisible, so they're not worth speaking about. <laughs> but yeah, one appeared earlier, I guess you could kind of see it if you rewinded. But now we're at uh, yeah, now we're at Mustache Girl, who's decided to be like the new leader of this world or whatever. Just because we were like, no, I want the timepieces. Yeah, see, she didn't want to. She didn't want to share the timepieces. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, we almost got one psycho. Okay, that's fine. Right, 
So here, if you change hats, your hat will just disappear temporarily. Oh, also, a uh, bitrate warning. <laughs> Sorry, stream. <laughs> yeah, the stream's not going to have a bitrate for a little while, I don't think. Whoops. <laughs> reason was because otherwise we would just sort of have to chase her around for a bit until the guys were like, oh you can't hear her. Oh, also, I'm not getting very lucky with this guy. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> okay. I don't think this was the way the Mafia ball was meant to be used, like to hit her when she was on the ground, but I mean, hey. <laughs> oh, I put the wrong hat. I thought I put the wrong hat. <laughs> Now we need to wait for these guys to make these like cherry bomb things so we can hit her. Um, unfortunately, I get the worst RNG here ever, and she'll just every single hit she'll reshield, and it's awful. What? Well, that was a little bit. Oh, that is a little bit. <laughs> okay. Give me one, guys. Oh, are you joking? It's sort of meant to explode. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. <laughs> right, now she should finish. Here there's a bit of a deep meaningful story where everyone's like, oh wait, if we explode, pawns come out. Maybe if we all explode, we'll just give our pawns to Hat Kid. And it's it's going to be okay because Hat Kid's going to save the future and we'll all come back. Yeah, it, it, that's what I thought. It just... <laughs> we also get to kill these enemies and that's... that's... <laughs> <laughs> and then mustache mustache goes like literally like what the hell like why have you done this <laughs> oh that's Oh, I'm trying to get one of these, like, tight head brewer hats to lock on. It can be kind of hard just to hit her just for the help of mass shoes. Right, so she only has, like, one hit left. So, time is coming up. Oops, one hit. Okay, so time is coming up. So here, all these timepieces, we're going to get a, a lot added to our collection. <laughs> Alright, and... Time! <laughs> Hopefully I can pause and put the in-game timer. If it all... Oh. Uh, where are we? 54.42. Not bad. That was pretty... Yeah, that was about what I was uh, thinking I would hit. What did the... Uh, what did the incentive stop at? Well, after closing the incentive and doing one last refresh to guarantee that there is no limit of error to this one, oh, it's some bullets. I can now say that by... Let me let me do the math here. About seventeen dollars. We are keeping the timepiece. <laughs> See you later, Masasco. You've seen what she can do with these timepieces. She's evil. No, she's evil. You're all part of her scheme. 
<laughs> she doesn't get a sympathy vote because we beat her. Winners write history. <laughs> Oh yeah, that little beep boop section in the uh, console version that I noticed, she actually voices it out, all the beep boops. <laughs> Why that's not in the PC version, I don't know, because it's like miles better. <laughs> oh yeah, that kid's not the happiest of chappies. <laughs> How are they enough to hold the spaceship back? Oh, regardless, it was a really good event and a really good run, so uh, I'm glad to have been able to run and I'm glad that best incentive won. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna get rid of everyone. Annoy that background clerk. <laughs> Everyone's trying to ruin the story. <laughs> We're just flying over it. <laughs> there we go. And that is a hat in time. I hope everyone enjoyed it.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a $6 donation from Popter45. Nice final round. Also, Lanflare, P W L L G W Y N G Y L L G O G E R Y C H W Y R N D O B Y. L L L L A N T Y S I L O G O G O G O C H. Right. And to pronounce it properly, it's Kanfan Pakwengir Kongeri Hundrobok Sandisilio Go Go Go. There you go. I tried. I failed. Thank you for the donation. All right, this this is it, the end of UK 